Well, hello, welcome to Create Talks Live. I have such an incredible guest for you today. Her name is Mari Cristante, and she has been involved in photography for a long time. And, you know, she came to the School of Ministry, but back in three years ago, so she just finished her third year program. But share with us a little bit about, like, how long you've been doing photography for? Where did you first start it? Yeah, I will. But um, first, I just want to say thank you so much, Teresa, for having me here. It is of such course. a joy to be on Create Talks. I just love what you're pioneering in you. and just bringing creativity to the fullness of the church and just unlocking and opening what God is doing. So Thanks. it's so fun to be a part of your world. You have impacted my life in such a huge way. So I just pound the mic. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is my first Facebook Live, so Ooh, welcome, so Mari, to many other times. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I started photography. I grew up in photography. My mom's a, a photographer. She's had a portrait studio for over 20 years. I started wow. working full time with her just after college. Um, absolutely loved it. My mom's the kind of woman that you can just spend 10, 12 hours a day working together and still go home and just want to hang out with her. She's awesome. So she taught me so much wow. about the art of, of portraiture, the mechanics of it, the mechanics of running a business, and just like the emotional side also. So portraiture wow. and commercial photography is my background. Um, I grew up in a very creative home, but then, you know, just as I loved my job and I loved my clients and what I was doing, but I just felt something more stir. Yeah. And so I just had to kind of set that down and just launch into discovering like what else is there. I felt like there was something inside of me that needed to get out. Exactly. I mean, all of you out there, like I know that you understand the power of photography. I could look on your little iPhone or your whatever device you have and you could see tons and tons of photos of beautiful stuff and people will comment and go, oh my gosh, you should be a photographer. There's just a, a latent ability inside to capture what a moment looks like but the yes. thing that what happened to Mari she got involved in my creativity track and she began to marry like put together like what is possible in an actual photography you know a photography session that could actually capture theological truths and actually inspire people to look past just one image but into and overall, like surreal, not kind of like surrealism mm -hmm. art, mm -hmm. to find out the hidden meaning behind it, and yes. it's just crazy. Uh, I can't believe the work that you've done. It's <laughs> it's just insane. You will see her work, by the way, in the School of Creativity, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but as you brought in your photos and the story of of this, it it's just something that rocked me. So, how do you begin to bridge? the different core values with your artwork. I mean, when did the light bulb turn on and you begin mm -hmm. to say, oh, I have a gift. Mm -hmm. I have a creative background. I have a mom mm -hmm. who inspired me. I have a business, but there's more mm -hmm. because of what I carry in the kingdom. So how mm -hmm. did you bridge that? Well, it's been a really, really fun journey. Um, like I find the Lord usually works at the heart first before he starts to go after the fruit. And so I came to school, I came to BSSM because there was just something inside, you know, it was like, I, I, first of all, I was exposed to some sur surrealist photographers and the first time I saw it, I was like, what? <laughs> what? Like, what There's is this? More? Like what? gravity just broke off and scale just broke off and everything. And I was like, my spirit just started jumping around inside. Like, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. And I, and I just didn't know how. It was like, I knew I had the skill and the craft, but I just didn't, there was something that was blocking like wow. that coming out. And so, um, just with, for getting creativity unlocked in a greater level and just discovering more about the life that Jesus lived and, wow. and how we're called to live like him and not just believe in him, but believe like him. It just launched me into this journey of coming to BSSM. And, you know, BSSM is kind of tricky. And actually, I think the gospel is kind of tricky because they, he, he draws you in by the signs and the wonders and the, and the miracles. And you're like, I want to do this. Like, yeah. you say we can, so I want to do it. And so it, it draws you in. And then once he gets you hooked, then he starts going into the heart. And he's like, actually, let me tell you who you are. Actually, I, wanna, I want you to know, like, how much I love you. And so that was like my journey with me. I saw this photography. I saw like what you can do, but, but then I just stepped closer to Jesus and I came to school and what they do in this, in this amazing program is they really just start focusing on identity, on the core foundation of like who God is, 
how good he is and who that means that you are and how much he loves you. So they really like get in and get like the identity aspect of, of exactly. being a daughter of Christ. And, and, and just all the freedom and the joy and the empowerment that comes with that. And they, that just starts sinking in. So here I am in school and in the creativity <laughs> track and you're just you know absorbed with like God doing all these incredible things. And, yeah. and I remember one day Bill was talking about um, not comparing yourselves to, to other people and how the spirit manifests on different people and how you have to learn for yourself how the Lord speaks to you and, and, and he was saying that the Lord speaks to him through, um, through thought and through, through divine inspiration. And so I just kind of tuned in in a different way, and I realized that all these pictures were coming down. And when people were, were worshiping, I would just get these pictures in my mind. Or when people are teaching, my mind, I'm such a visual person. And so these, these concepts would just translate really quickly into these images. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's the Lord talking to me. <laughs> that's <laughs> not just my imagination, like playing with words. But, yeah, let me turn this on. Maybe this isn't just a fleeting thought. Yeah. Maybe this could really become yeah. powerful. Yeah, so I just started to engage with him more in that way. And I, and I realized that like, he was helping me understand what this principle, what these, these concepts yeah. look like in my life. I, I learned a while ago the power of declarations and the power of like, speaking truth and, and, totally. and believing to help get those thoughts and those belief systems lined up with the word of God. And then I just realized I need to make images. Like, what do I look like? How do I fully embrace this truth and this principle? Yeah. What does on earth as, as it is in heaven look like on me in my life? And so I, um, that kind of, kind of, um, cornerstone right into the creativity track when you gave us this amazing platform to, to do a personal project. She gave us, she's like, you're all going to do a personal project. It can be anything you want. And probably the Holy Spirit's already been talking to you about what it should be. <laughs> and I knew what it was. And I just needed, I needed somebody to come and, and, and make a platform and just help me bring that out. Cause I hadn't really done it before. And oh and my gosh. And it was just crazy what, <laughs> what you came up with. And she brought some to share because one of the things we love about Create Talks is like somebody's journey can actually dovetail into others' journeys. And so as you look at this art and as you see that the photography and what she did in bringing it to life, uh, I, I'm going to just, I'm going to prophesy over some of you out there because it's so powerful. That it's so you get to see the value of it. But Mari, share about this one right here mm. and a little bit about what it is and and where it came from. Yes. Okay. This one, actually, this was the very first one I did. Um, this was called Mana Dance, or it is called Mana Dance. It's still called Mana Dance. <laughs> and it was really created out of a celebration. I had just made this huge leap of faith to go to school without knowing where the money was going to come from. All of a sudden, I needed $10,000, $20,000 to do school and live. And all of a sudden, the Lord just, I said yes to Him, and He just poured it on me, like just, just provided in huge ways. So. Um, this, I started making this picture and just to celebrate this testimony in my life and to celebrate God's provision. And so it's about, um, you know, his, his promises are so good and so true. Like he promises to provide and we spend so much time worrying, like, is he going to provide? Is he, is he, is he? And he just wants to break off that worry. You don't have to go to that whole worry spectrum and until you get that promise manifest in your life. You're free to just go ahead and start celebrating today, just like he did with the Israelites in the desert. Like, Come on. The manna showed up every day. Like He promises to provide. And so this is just like one of those anchor points of like God is going to be faithful. When we say yes to him, like he's going to provide. And it's so, so just true. go ahead and celebrate. Like Just have fun and celebrate and break off worry and just enjoy his goodness because he wants to be good and this is such a great one for people out there right now that it is about dependence I mean manna they had to wait for God to provide every day they couldn't try and make it happen but they yeah. had to wait yeah. and the, I love the dance because we need to dance over it before it actually manifests and it's yes. and it's happening together as we partner as we celebrate the provision comes so some of you out there might say ah I want to come to the school of creativity I want to meet Mari I want to meet like Roma Downey and, and the different people. I was just talking to Paul Young from who wrote the book The Shack. These people are they want to give you everything they have and you might not have the finances, but that's not too hard for God. And so we just dance over anything in your life that seems insurmountable yes. as far yes. as going after your dreams and we say, God, do it again. Yes. Amen. So powerful. Amen. And then 
You did this one up here, which I love. This Aww, is such a great you. one. I love that one. Thank you. That one is called Unpuzzling. And um, so, so first year, just to back up a little bit. Yeah. Um, so the first year I started doing self-portraits because it was really like this personal journey of like discovering who I am and what God's made me to do. And then the second year I did the creativity check again because I just can't get enough of Mama T. And um, I started choosing models of people that I feel like represented the concept that I was trying to create. Yeah. And so, so I picked my dear friend Serena because she has a really high level prophetic gifting. And um, so this is about, I, to me it's about prophesying or about picking out like there's so much to choose from. God is speaking so much. He has these key puzzle pieces for your life and it's just collecting them and like seeing how they fit and where they fit and you you know you so often get so many prophetic words especially in our culture here you're you're blasted and it's like <laughs> what am I going to do with this word and what am I going to do with this word and so it's just it's just reaching up collecting stewarding I love that and just knowing that like he has so much abundance in your life like he yeah. speaks abundantly and it's almost like you have to see and you have to get them and you have to put them together. Yeah. Like a puzzle piece that you're trying to work at on a table. Yeah. You have to almost, in a sense, trust that God's inspiring you to look above yes. and put them together in what God has for you. And that's such a powerful, yes. powerful visual. I, I love it because this is, this is for somebody out there because I felt like some of you are frustrated, especially one person out there is very frustrated with not seeing like how your puzzle pieces are coming together and feeling like does God really really care about you and I feel like he's I saw the puzzle pieces coming together on the outer edge and coming into the center like as you know who you are and that he's with you in putting it together you're gonna have peace and so we just say peace that God has <laughs> this all figured out and that he's going to put the piece, puzzle pieces together to get yes. you to your destiny. And I just want to add on that, that it's going to be fun. Like, yes. this is about having fun. I, <laughs> I like to pick a lot of, like, toys and games in my pictures because sometimes we take ourselves way too seriously. And so, like, the puzzle is fun. Like, this, just have fun with your process. Just enjoy it. Like, it's, it's an adventure of exploring and uncovering the amazing things that God has set out for your life. So, if you're not having fun, just take a break. Take a big breath, <gasps> breathe them in, and laugh it off, and just move forward. <laughs> exactly. And this one, I love this one. This is such a great one. I love the colors, and I love the whole parachute. Just so explain this one, because this is so powerful. Okay. Love it. So, um, so back in the day when I was working with my mom, uh, we were doing, we were building a set, and I found this old parachute online. And I was like, <laughs> we have to get this. And she's like, why do we need a parachute? I'm like, I don't know, but we need it for something. <laughs> Never used it. And then when I was road tripping back up here um, to Reading to move, I had the parachute in my car. I had a whole bunch of random stuff. This is what I do. I just go on these really fun, creative road trips, pile my on my car with props and stuff. So I'm in um, Utah in the salt flats out there in the middle of nowhere. And um, I pull out this big parachute and I'm like running back and forth, like trying to make this parachute fly <laughs> at, this, like, at this like visitor center tourist stop. And everybody is just staring at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> Why is she in this dress? What are the black street? And I'm just trying to make this thing fly. Um, but this picture was such a, um, it was an anchor point for me because I felt like as I was running after my dreams, and as I was like pressing into these things and these desires in my heart, I was feeling momentum, you know, things were opening, I was having so much fun, I was starting to see fruit, but then it's like you take two steps forward and then you're like, then all this resistance comes and you're like, but it's so hard, but it's so fun and I'm moving forward, but it just, it's just this like push and pull sometimes in the process. You're like, why is it so hard? But I, I learned that, that the resistance is invaluable, like totally. that resistance is making you stronger and it's like bringing it's like that it's pushing you forward so so just be delight in those things that are coming against you delight that god's going to use it to make you to empower you to move forward it's all used for momentum momentum in your life like god's going to use even the struggles and the hardships to to propel you forward so don't be discouraged and just you know just have courage and strength and press on it's like some people feel like you're falling but he's got a parachute yes and the yes. parachute is the wind of the Holy Spirit that's going to put you down where you need to go in your yes. dreams. And so that's for you. And yeah, and also people that feel discouraged, like it's been a long time. 
I feel like this is such a good word that God wants to put some like fire on you to know like as you walk forward, there's going to be momentum that God's going to build in you. So yes. go after that. Don't stop. Yes. Don't stop. Don't and stop. You have one more down here. These are <clears throat> so incredible. I'll hold that for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes. So this one, um, this one's called Receiving the Tangible and Intangible. And I photographed this out in, uh, again, in Utah. Love Utah. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is about, um, you know, when we ask the Lord questions or we ask him for provision or whatever, and we just sit in this receiving posture, yes. like receiving. And, and sometimes his answers to our prayers are very practical. They're very real. They're very tangible. They're very like you can wrap your, your hand around it. And other times we ask for the Lord for things and he gives it in the form of his presence or in the form of the spirit or encouragement or just like peace. And so it's like he gives a range of, of tangible to intangible. And, and this is just like that wow. encouragement of um, just because you ask for something doesn't mean that it'll come in a tangible way. Like don't discount the, that intangible presence because it's equally like a gift from him. I love, I love what's happening right now because a lot of you are starting to realize like the unseen and the seen realm can actually be identified through art and this is a form of photography that actually is bringing in the intangible into the tangible and say well wow, that's that's how I feel I feel like sometimes I'm the balls are way up in the air and I don't know what God's gonna do and we have this thing of adventure and I love what you talked about there has to be fun in the adventure yes. so she always put something fun like I love the colors I love what's <laughs> happening like can we really hold on to everything we are yes. not in control <laughs> he's in control <laughs> And this reminds us of that. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Right. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. There's so many times in my process where, um, like, I'll be out shooting, trying to capture, getting the image is the easy part. It's just making it happen. And then you just get really like, this is so hard. And I, know. I don't know how to make this work. And, like, what am I doing? And then totally. he's like, he just always asks me, like, are you having fun right now? And this should be fun. Like, remember, like, that's why you started. And so I just want to encourage you that just, it should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's about connecting with the presence of, of God and, and the joy that comes with his nature. So, so true. So it's amazing. It's, it's incredible too, how the journey of joy and the journey of his presence makes it not be work, mm -hmm. but makes it be passion. And yeah. there's such a fine line between those two, yeah. especially for a creative, as you guys know out there. <laughs> the other thing that I want you to do is realize, like, if there are people that you know that, that love, love to capture the unseen realm in any kind of creative form, I want you just to showcase this, like, show this on your, I just like this and showcase it to people because people need to see that what can happen in music, in dance, in art, in fashion through bringing down what God's saying in a spiritual form into what they're creating, which I love. Mm -hmm. And Mari was amazing because she did some images for us for the last School of Creativity, and she's yeah. going to be doing some more for this one, which I'm so excited about. But she's going to kind of share with you her journey about what she did in the last School of Creativity. Yeah. Um, oh, it's so fun. I just love partnering with him. Um, I made a series of images and they, I felt like part of the theme last year was this whole unlocking and awakening. And, and one of the things that um, oh, I just, I so for our time is just the whole encounter realm. And if you've been around Teresa for even a day, you know that she's all about encountering God and going on encounters and, and yeah. just getting connected with the Holy Spirit. And, you know, like we really are more spirit than we are flesh. Like we are new creations. He's given us the spirit, the, his spirit living inside of us. And so, so I just feel like the spirit realm is more real than like the tangible. Than what we see right here. Yeah. And so I feel like he's unlocking those encounters to, to, to know him more fully, know him in our spirit, getting yes. connected, living from that unseen place. And, um, and so the series of images from last year was really connecting that unlocking, awakening, intimate like places. Um, this is one that I did. I'll hold that or here's you. the here's the first unlocking one. I can't remember what order we did them in last year, but um, that is called unlocked, unlocked, and it's really this like he 
he has unlocked something like Jesus came in the shape of a key to unlock the dreams, to unlock your inheritance, to unlock your spirit, to unlock fullness. And, and as a result, like we get to release those keys and release our breakthrough to other people. And so it's just such a give and take. Like he, he sets us free and then he brings us into the process of igniting other people. And that's what the School of Creativity is all about. It's just unlocking, unleashing people to just fly into their testimo te testimonies. Fly into their, Des come on, testimony. Testimony, I just made a new word. We Destiny, just made up a new word. Which will word. become testimonies to fly in our testimony. That's perfect. And uh, yeah, so that's about unlocked. Getting and then unlocked. I love this first one that you did. This was for the first day. And I love this one. It's about really who is God and finding the fullness of God. But yes. share about this one because this is such a powerful one. Oh, that is called the train of his robe. And it's just tagging on to that verse that, that his, his presence will fill the room. And as we like look to him and we pull in him and as we worship him, like he can't help but pull out, pour out his spirit. Like He can't resist coming when we start giving him praise and when we start focusing on it. He just flies into the room. And, and his presence just fills fills the place and fills your heart and fills your mind. So this is really about just that intimate connection with his presence. It's absolutely it's gorgeous. Place. It's amazing. Thank you. And then I love this one because this was all about collaborations. We were talking about what can we do together yes. to collaborate together. And yes. this is crazy, just the thought of what we can do together. But you captured these people and they're actually in like little like balls, but they're up in the air. So check they this are. one out. This is amazing. Yes, this one's called um, Family Adventures, and it's it's actually a family, and they are this incredible family that does life together, and they're all just walking in supernatural amazing. things. It's beautiful. Just and the last one I love. It's about turning water into wine. Yes. Yes. Come on, this is amazing. So yeah, this is of um, this is actually photographed Elizabeth Reisinger for this one. I actually haven't told you this, uh, Teresa, but she just so so the picture is about like what happens in that that supernatural wonder realm when when water turns to wa yes. wine and just releasing that that power and that like instantly like heaven comes to earth. Oh yeah, you know, water oh, yeah. turns to wine and and I made this of Elizabeth because she really walks in that. And she's used this picture to minister, and she's seen people get healed. She's seen tumors dissolve. It's so crazy. And just a couple weeks ago, she got invited to, to um, speak at a conference, and the conference is called Water to Wine. Isn't Come that on. Funny? Isn't that funny how God <laughs> just sets you up into your Isn't destiny? So if you're in Texas, go to the Water and Wine Conference. It'll be fun. Oh, my gosh. We just have somebody from Oklahoma. We were in a church back there. And James Aww. Fortune, the pastor, he's just saying how much the paintings that we did in fact, we did his whole family. In, I did his whole family walking on water. How much it ministered to him. We love you, the Fortune family. We love you too. It's just amazing blessing. It's it's incredible, isn't it? What God can do through paintings and so through much. photos and through so much. and through bringing water into wine. Yes. I I would love for you just to just to take a moment and think about like here you had this a huge amount of talent. What God had had done yeah. for you, and here you. You just began to like partner with what your mom had brought you, partner with what like Bethel had given you, partner with what you could do together at the School of Creativity. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much favor now is on people's lives because of what you did. I, I have, for those of you that watched even Michelle Lees and what we did in South Africa, just check out that one. But her, her surrealism photography was there as well. It's like, God has no end to how he's going to take your creativity around the world if you do it because of the joy of what he brought you. And, and I just want you to impart that because that, that's such an intangible thing that people think, oh, I have to try harder. I have to, as this rose, mm, I've got to grow, right? And it just doesn't work out. Yes. There's something about surrender and letting God yes. use you in what you call to be. And I want you just yeah. to impart that. So yeah. put your hands out, just receive, yes. and Mari's going to pray God. for you right now. Yeah. I'm yeah. putting my hands out. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you, God. Thank you for making us creative beings. Thank yes, you for putting Lord. your creative nature in us, in our minds, in our hands, in, yes, our, in our dreams. Lord, thank you that your fingerprints are all over us. And, and I thank you also that you give us tenacity and you give us courage. And right now I just release courage yeah. over people to step into more than they think they can. There's yes. people around you that are supporting you, whether you see them or not. Like we believe yes. in you. God believes in you. And I just say yes to the invitation that's on your life to step into more, to step into to the unknown and the, and, and the curiosities, and to say yes to the adventuring in the moment from, from reading his word and letting it like awaken in your spirits. And, and I just say yes to dreams being fulfilled, yes to, to that knitting in your womb of those, those, those ideas and those concepts, yeah. and yes to like the production and the whole spectrum of the p- production. Um, yeah, thank you, God, God, for what you have invested you invested your son into their lives, and we just say it will. Process. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for what wow. you're doing. Thank you for opening new areas new areas of encounters. And I just see people right now are getting ideas. Old dreams are actually being resurrected and, and the Holy Spirit's reminding some of you of things that you once wanted to do that got, that got laid down the ground before and, and, and turned over. Like those are raising up again because he hasn't forgot about those. And I just bless what you're doing, God, in those people's lives. Yeah. yeah. And I just release open doors and favor, God. Favor, open the right doors, those doors that only you can make. And I just pray for a purity of motive over people, that you would help us keep our motive pure of why we're doing what we're doing. God, help us to keep you the main thing, the main thing, in each thing that we make. That's and, right. and Lord, just lead it all back to you in connection right. with you, God. <laughs> make your name famous, Jesus. Amen. I, Amen. I, I just want to say, this has been amazing. Like, what you just talked about, Find that old parachute that you think didn't matter and get it out because God is resurrecting dreams. That was such a good word. If you are excited about what you've heard, please share this yes. and check out Mari Costanti's website. But don't forget at the School of Creativity, you will see an unveiling of what she feels God's saying about this new School of Creativity. You don't want to miss so that. Excited. If you can't make it, make sure you stream it live. That's free or you buy the whole package, you're going to love it. You're going to love what you see. But what an incredible time we've had with you, Mari. Thank you. So Thank again, you. we just want to just, it, we just invite you in the process to continue to create at whatever level that you have yes. and don't ever give up. And yes. we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.